seven decades, an all-boys Catholic high school in San Francisco is making a major change. It's going co-ed starting next fall. KPI X5's Andrea Borba on what's driving the policy shift. Andrea? Well, Elizabeth, the change came about two weeks ago, and that is when Mercy High School, not far away from here, announced it was closing its doors, and Archbishop Reardon saw an opportunity. The arched brick halls of Archbishop Reardon High School are about to undergo a seismic shift, not from an earthquake, but from girls. The school board voted last night to make the all-boys high school co-ed. There's not going to be another time in history when we can accept uh, students at all grade levels from another Catholic school. The move comes after All Girls Mercy High School on 19th Avenue announced it would be closing its doors. That's when a lingering thought about taking the school co-ed was kicked into gear two weeks ago. We think a, a, a better long-term solution for for young Catholic school students, um, girls and boys, is, is to come to Reardon. So uh, with the closure of Mercy, there's one less option. So Reardon is now open to accepting all students. Reardon President Andrew Courier says the school has enough room to absorb all of the Mercy High students. Mercy students already join in for music and theater. Some of the boys at Reardon say it's a change that will take some time to get used to. I think at first I was I was very opposed to it, you know, just because it's it's sad to see tradition that we've held for 70 years kind of feel, I felt like it was going down the drain, right? But, you know, upon, upon a closer inspection, I realized that we are maintaining the aspects of our culture that are most vital to the school. And that culture is single-sex classrooms. While the campus will be co-ed, the classes will still be all boys or now all girls. It's easier to raise your hand in a classroom where it's surrounded by other males. It's, it's not necessarily something, you know, they would be doing as much. People would not participate as much in those classrooms if it was co-ed. And so the fact that we were able to maintain that, you know, uh, single gender environment is really important to the, to the transition process. At least one alum wasn't thrilled about the thought of a co-ed campus. If you have girls with boys and you kind of get lost and confused. Education is important, like I said. Now, President Andrew Courier says that there are plans to kick into gear to transfer some of the bathrooms from boys' bathrooms to girls' bathrooms and expand the facilities inside the gym to allow for more girls. They said they'll probably have to hire three to four teachers, a dean of women, another counselor to handle more women coming on campus. Live in San Francisco tonight, Andrea Borba, KPIX 5.